Hey everybody, 70 Humbler here with another toy review of the Hot Toys. Uh, I'm going to do a double review this time of the Iron Man 2 Mark IV and War Machine. Some uh, pretty nice figures. Couple of, I think uh, this Mark IV has become my favorite Iron Man figure uh, over the Mark III and even the Mark VI. Um, and the War Machine, I really like it because of its size and uh, just the, um, the overall, just the mechanical look of the figure. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, do a short review of these figures uh, and their accessories uh, and take a quick look at the boxes. Um, if you'll notice in the background, it's uh, I've got a new uh, diorama uh, that I've been working on. It's my first attempt to build a wall and uh, which I use in I'm attempting to use in stop motion so uh, just uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think about that and uh, let's get on with the review okay guys first of all we'll take a look at the box for the Mark IV from Iron Man 2 uh, it's your basic Iron Man box uh, it's got a picture of the Mark IV on the front with Iron Man 2 Mark IV and this here and the picture goes on around the side and it's got uh, Mark IV and there's also a couple of production shots on the back of the figure and on the other side the picture the, the front picture wraps around the uh, both sides which is kind of neat okay it's just your basic slip cover and right there's where the figure goes right inside there okay pretty basic box there All right, and then we'll move over here and we'll take a look at the War Machine box it's basically the same box with a picture of War Machine on the front cover okay, this is Iron Man 2 War Machine and his picture also wraps around each side of the box and there are production pictures on the back Okay. And one of the cool things that I liked about these boxes, and let me try to get this here, is if you take the boxes and put them together, they make one continuous picture. So if you don't have the Mark IV or the War Machine, you're kind of missing out on this picture right here. It's kind of nice. I mean, they done a good job on that. That's one of the things I like about the boxes is the picture on the with the Mark IV and the War Machine combined together. It's kind of cool. Okay, all right. Uh, move these out of the way and on to the figures. Uh, let's start with the War Machine first. Actually, I received this one first and had it for a little while and it was kind of funny. Sometimes uh, I get my figures from a uh, a local comic book store, a uh, real good guy, helps me out, lets me, uh, if I can't uh, pay for a figure, he lets me put one away, so he's really cool about that, but I was a little embarrassed, when I opened this, I wanted to open this one up at his store and let him take a look at it, a lot of people don't do that, they want to take them home, they don't uh, show their seller what it looks like, well he, you know, he's helped me out a lot, I like to try to take the figure out or at least open the box but I decided to open this one and pull the figure out and the first thing that happened was the kneecap popped off <laughs> right there in front of him and all of his customers and I was like oh wow that's not a very good rep representation of such an expensive uh, figure but uh, as you know it was an easy fix I just brought it home and super glued it it's perfect I mean there's nothing wrong with it but uh, anyway, that's a little funny, a little, little embarrassing. But anyway, here we got a uh, war machine. Uh, let me see if I can. I know this camera. I'm sorry, this camera doesn't do very good. I'm try the light here. I think that might help a little. Uh, he's got some pretty good articulation. Uh, he's got articulation in his toes and his ankles. Uh, his knees are double jointed. And in and, and his thighs, he's only hindered by the armor on the articulation in his thighs. Okay, he has uh, um, 
I'm gonna set this down for a second. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Sorry if I'm making you sick. Anyway, okay. He's got uh, upper torso rotation, and he's also can bend back and forward a little bit. Uh, he's got this little movement right here. Okay. On to the arms. He's got uh, upper shoulder rotation, only hindered by the armor, just a little. Uh, elbow rotation, and I've got. He's got several sets of hands. I've got the articulated finger hands on there. So each finger, each joint on each finger is articulated. Very nice touch on that. And his head, it does move a little. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but uh, it's a very stiff. But he does have uh, rotation up and down on the head okay and we get back here one of my favorite parts is this uh, uh, mini gun on the back mounted on his back right here and uh, I love this thing you gotta be extremely careful with it though okay uh, but it does move very well it does not this part does not move up and down some people make the mistake and try to move that up and down it does not move up and down okay uh, it looks like it does, but uh, a lot of people have broken theirs trying to move that. But it does move side to side, and it does slide across the his back right here on this. It slides across, rotates, uh, the gun itself rotates, and uh, it's, it's just it looks really nice, very detailed. Sorry if I'm not getting a very good picture here. I'm, Still learning how to do these reviews, but I'm getting there. But okay, but uh, yeah, overall, I, you know, I like War Machine. He's not my favorite uh, Hot Toys figure that I have, but he is a very nice addition to the collection, and he goes very well with Iron Man figures. And he's very detailed. He's got all of his little his markings. I don't know if you can see uh, the paint apps are very nice on this figure. Uh, see right there his head I mean just every little thing is is not nicely detailed if you can notice the little scuff marks around the edges of his armor it gives it a more realistic look so like this figure a lot and uh, yeah uh, this is a this is, would be a keeper for me I don't think I'd want to get rid of this one okay and going to the accessories we have of course we have the instructions definitely want to look over those we got the other head with the uh, the I think his name is Don Cheeto uh, head sculpt and I think it's a pretty good likeness to me. I, I like it. I think it looks really good. Magnetized. Um, we have the, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's called the Widowmaker. The little missile that he shot out that fizzed. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And we got several different hand sculpts. Uh, we got the fist which came on him fresh out of the box. We got the uh, relaxed palms, and then we have the open palms, which uh, they do have the light up feature. The open and relaxed do. The fists do not have the light up feature. Okay, so that's uh, the war machine.